So. It's minutes before a live broadcast from this video production class at Tupelo Christian Preparatory School. Are we doing a mic check? And I'm James Stevenson, and this is a special edition of TCBS News. On this program, members of the Deep South team from Invisible Children. In a nutshell, Invisible Children is a youth-driven, nonprofit organization, and we're focused on ending Africa's longest-running war. That war has been raging more than two decades in Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. One of the most frightening aspects is the abduction of kids by the Lord's Resistance Army, or LRA. The rebels force the kids to take up weapons and fight. The organization Invisible Children was formed to help rescue the young, innocent victims of Africa's war. Sixteen teams travel the country telling young people about the plight of Africa's youngest war victims and how they can help. At TCPS, there is merchandise for sale. We sell what we call our, uh, our men bags, and they are made by ladies who were formerly abducted by the LRA. And on this team, Agnes, who grew up in the war-torn region. I lived in so much fear and uh, all the time we would every evening go to sleep in the jungle because I was in the village and so uh, the only safe place for us was to sleep in the jungle. TCPS students and those listening to the broadcast hear how invisible children stepped in and helped put Agnes through school and enabled her to get her life back on track. The presentation had an impact on students. Actually today my phone got cut off and so I was kind of upset about that. But um, hearing their story and stuff, it really made me realize how easy I have it here. And I plan on uh, donating. I, I donated at lunch. Students say they plan to hold fundraisers and let friends and family members know about Invisible Children. Administrators here say the students were not only moved emotionally by the group's presentation, more importantly they were moved to take action. And because of that, TCPS is making the grade. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.